So here is a direct comparison of the most commonly used uh, things inside a virtual pinball. We have the 24 volt contactor and that's the sound with very little feedback. Then we have the um, car solenoid, the 12 volt car solenoid. Works pretty well, offers a slight bit of feedback, so putting it closer to where your fingers are, you'll probably get a little bit from it, but putting it anywhere else in the table, you'll just hear it. Then, I've decided I was going to try actual pinball parts. So these are all powered 24 volt, uh, 24 volt DC coils, and the feedback is 10 times better than anything that's currently in any V-pin. So here's how they sound. As you can see, it basically moves the whole shelf. So that would be a slingshot that could also be used as a pop bumper, but it is phenomenal when it comes to the amount of feedback that it gives. Then there's the actual pop bumpers. This is a Gottlieb pop bumper and it's a 28 volt rated coil running at 24 volt DC. So, as you can see, it also provides a decent amount of feedback, and just for fun, I figured I'd get an old doorbell that was used in the 70s and see how that sounds. And uh, games like Taxi and Space Shuttle, I believe, use these, but uh, here it goes. I think that's something that's going to go in my next v-pin but again here is the 24 volt contactor as you can see very anemic slingshot a lot better and pop bumper So that offers a pretty good kick. And then the fallback that everybody uses. Twelve volt red starter solenoid. Well, hopefully this gives you an idea of the different feedback and sort of what would be the strongest depending on the application you choose. But personally, all of my next feedback devices are all going to be actual pop bumpers and slingshots because, man, the feedback is awesome.